Hi, I'm Gladys Diab from Fitness First Middle East. Today, I'm going to show you a workout for 30 minutes if you're participating in Dubai Fitness Challenge. So what, what my workout is based on is uh, it's a metabolic workout to improve your calorie burning or to maximize your calorie burning and improve your fitness. What we're going to be targeting here is upper body, lower body. So we're going to be alternating and adding core training in the middle. And we're going to be resting in between. So let me show you the first exercise. After we're done with our warm up, the first exercise is going to be a kettlebell swing. So you're going to grab the kettlebell and just swing from your hips. So this is a lower body exercise. And then we're going to move into a plank position do a row and a push up at the same time. Once we're done with that, you're going to grab a plate to do some rotation work with a lunge. So we're going to alternate between right and left. Then we're going to move into a modified burpee and a push up. So we're going to do this for a couple of times. And then with the ball, we're going to get down to the floor and do a twist with the right and left leg. You ready? So let's start with a warm up first. Bring your feet under your hips, bring your arms up. We're going to do an arm swing to mobilize the upper body and lower body. I want you to breathe at the same time. Try not to go too low. Let's do two more times and one more. Now from where you are, bring one leg back. I want you to push those hips forward, reach your arm up and from here sit back and stretch. So we're doing dynamic stretching to start with. Of course, we're gonna alternate between the right and left side. Let's do one more. Now change leg. So lift, push back. I want you to use your hips more. Take your time to breathe. Let's do one more time. Beautiful. Now, stand up. Come behind a box, a step or stairs. Step up with one leg. So what we're gonna be doing now is called a pulse racer. So the aim here is to increase the heart rate I'm wearing a Myzone belt, which is a heart rate monitor. And if you see on the screen of my phone, I'm monitoring the level of intensity of my heart rate. And at the end of the workout, I'm gonna check how many calories I've burned. Now change leg. So let's do 15 on the right, 15 on the left. Just try and relax your arms. Do a soft landing on the floor and remember to breathe. Let's do five more. Try to stay close to your box for safety. One more time. Relax. Now I want you to circle your arms for five. Reverse the circles. And when you're ready, grab your kettlebell. So your feet slightly outside the hips, lengthen your arms. I want you to push through the hips and swing that kettlebell between the legs. Now the aim here is not to lift the kettlebell too high. I want you to drive those hips forward as you squeeze your glutes. Soften your elbows. Let's do two more. One more time. Good, lift yourself up. Bend your knees to put your kettlebells down. Second exercise, I want you to grab the dumbbells. We're gonna go down into a plank position, but before we need to rest for around 30 seconds until you catch your breath. So as you see, my heart rate percentage is 76%. So I'm in my great aerobic zone. I'm gonna breathe to recover and now I'm ready I'm gonna go down to that plank position with the hands right under the shoulders 
Keep your abdominals really, really tight and your legs straight. You can do it with your knees on the floor. Lower the chest down and row with one up. Try not to rotate your hips. Now the dumbbells are unstable to provide more work in the shoulders and to challenge my stability. I'm gonna do two more. All right, let's take a break. Breathe, don't sit down. Try to keep on walking until you catch your breath. So now we've done a kettlebell swing to work the back of the body. We work now the upper body and core, adding some stability training. We're gonna continue with the core training. Let me show you. I want you to grab a plate. So I have 10 kilos, you can use five, 10, as much as you want. Bring the feet under the hips. I want you to keep your shoulders and hips square. Step one leg back, and at the same time, while keeping your arms straight, you're gonna drive that plate to the diagonal. And then we're going to alternate. We will do 10 on the right, and 10 on the left side, as we alternate, when you're ready. So exhale as you do the effort. Try not to go higher than your shoulder level for safety. Keep your eye gaze on that plate. So we've got two more. Make this your last one. And now relax. As you'll see, my heart rate percentage now is spiking up to 90%. So let's take more time to recover. 30 seconds to 45 seconds is a great time in between exercises. Well done, guys. So the next exercise is going to be on the box, which is your modified burpee and a push-up. So we're gonna integrate these exercises to maximize calorie burning using upper and lower body. Let me check my heart rate. So now I'm on 77%. I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. So bring your hands slightly outside your shoulders. I want you to squeeze under your armpit to take the load off your neck. Keeping the neck straight, Let's start with a push-up. You can do half push-up or a full one. And jump your feet wide as you land on both heels and step back. Let's do this 10 times. We've got two more. Last one. Well done, you guys. Woo. Catch your breath, we're almost there. Now from here, the next exercise is using a bowl. If you don't have a bowl right now, you can do it just on the floor. So place your hands on the floor or on a mat and you should be ready. So as you see, my heart rate is on 81% of my maximum heart rate. I'm gonna recover. As you know, the fitter you are, the faster you recover. So this is a good test for you to see how fast your heart rate is going to drop. Ready? Grab your bowl. It doesn't matter what kind of bowl you have, or you can even place your hands on the floor. Now we're gonna move into the abdominal training, targeting deep muscles and superficial muscles. Let's go. So bring your weight over your hands, so shoulders over hands, hips are square and steady, your chin is tucked in to protect your neck. What I want you to do now 
is bring one leg up, bring your knee close to the ball and twist. This is a great exercise to work your abdominals and hips and to stabilize the shoulders as well. Make sure you're breathing all the way through. Let's do two more on each side. Last one. When you're done, jump forward, lift yourself up. Congratulations, so we've done the first round. We're gonna rest a little bit more than 30 seconds, maybe around a minute to start with the second round. Let me check the time. Good. So we've done approximately 10 minutes so far. So we're gonna repeat this workout once again. I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll check my heart rate. All right, I'm ready to go. But this time, we're gonna make it a little more challenging. So previously we were stepping up and down. Now I want you to step, push, and then land. As you push, I want you to take your heels off the ground and push yourself with straight legs. Use your arms as well. So we're gonna do 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg. You ready? Let's go. Step, push. Do soft landing on both feet. Make sure you keep your feet inside the box. So that's a four. The more you bend the knees, the higher you're gonna go. So this is your challenge, your workout. Choose what is best for you. Let's do two more. Now, change leg. No break. You can keep your body low to maximize the effort in the lower body. Let's do two more. Last one. Well done. As you see, my heart rate percentage now is up the roof, 91%. It's higher than round one. So I'm gonna rest. Make sure you're breathing. Don't sit down, stay standing and keep moving. We call it an active recovery. It's the best way to do transitions in between exercises. Great. Do you remember the second exercise? It's the kettlebell swing. So, reset. Bring your feet slightly outside the hips. Turn your toes out. Keep that kettlebell under your shoulders. Squeeze under your armpit. I want you to drive from the hips first. So push and then swing it. Remember? It's not about lifting the kettlebell high, it's about driving those hips forward as you squeeze your glutes. We're gonna do this for 20 times. Keep your body straight. When you go back to your standing position, let's do five, four, one more. Well done. Put your kettlebell down. Relax. Now the next exercise, we're gonna row the dumbbell in a plank position. And we're gonna add a push-up. So you've got different options here. You can row without a push-up, or you can combine them together. Yeah, combining them together make it more complex or more difficult to do. Let's go. In this exercise, it's not about how heavy you lift, yeah? It's about good technique, great form, beautiful posture, so you can target those deep muscles. Let's go. So you can set this exercise to failure, or 
you can choose the amount of repetition. Let's go. So that's a one. Remember, your alternative would be placing your knees on the floor. Just make sure you drop your whole body. Your challenge is to keep your dumbbells steady on the floor. I'm gonna do one on the right, one on the left. Last one. Awesome work. Whew. Breathe. So now we're going up, down, up, down, as you see. Working upper and lower body. So my heart rate percentage is on 86% now. Dropping down gradually. The healthy way. Whew. Hope you guys are enjoying the workout so far. Remember, work on your own level. Yeah? First time, set the short amount of repetitions, rest for longer, and then you're gonna get more advanced on the second week, and you're gonna notice that. When you're ready, grab your plate. Okay, how am I going to do this exercise harder? If you remember, we were stepping back into a lunge position. It can be a lunge, or it can be only a step back, and we're going to rotate the torso by lifting the plate up. So you're alternating between the right and left. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, I'd like you to add a jump and take the challenge. Let me start with the first option. So you step back and you rotate. You ready? Now, look at the difference. Jump and land. So jump and land. Remember, don't go too high with that plate. Keep your eye gaze on the center of your plate. Let's do two more. Let's rest. Ooh, that was a good one. Relax yourself. Okay, your heart rate, mine is 94%. Do you remember the next exercise? What was the next exercise? <laughs> All right, the modified burpee and the push-up. It might take you a little longer now to lower your heart rate down. It's okay. Once you reach the burpee, you can do a shorter range push-up and step back instead of jumping. I'll show the options. So the easy level would be this. Half, step forward and then step back. If you want to take the challenge, jump forward and back. I'm going to turn the box so you can see me better now. You ready? So now my heart rate is dropping. I'm going to do... 10. You can do 15 or 20. Let's go. That's a one. Make sure you breathe. Two more. Well done, you guys. You can continue with five or 10 more repetitions if you want. And now, our last exercise would be the ball. Let's take that heart rate down. Grab a drink if you need one. So we're more than halfway through the workout. We've done already around 20 minutes or less. We've got one more exercise. So for the next 10 minutes, 
We're going to do something slightly different. I know that you like abdominal exercises. So I'm going to give you a couple of abdominal exercises and back as well. Of course, we're going to wrap it up with a nice stretching. Okay, grab that ball. Go down into your plank position. Do the right set up first. Remember your shoulders are down. Squeeze under the armpit. Keep your chin tucked in, your elbows soft. Your wrist really solid and strong. Start with the right leg. Twist. That's a one. If you bring your feet closer to each other, you challenge your core more. Slightly wider, you'll be more stable and you'll make it easier. Remember, shoulders down, away from the ears. Last one. Jump and rise. Ooh, great work. So, we've completed two rounds. Well done to you guys. We're gonna do some abdominal exercises seated. You can do them on a chair, on a box, on a step, on a bench. But we're not gonna work only the abdominals. We're gonna also add some legs, back and arms. You ready? So, take a seat. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Bring your body weight forward while you keep your body close to the bench or the box. We're gonna alternate between the right and left leg. I want you to keep your elbows soft, your shoulders away, back down. Take one leg up, bring it under, lift it up and drop. Up, under, lift and drop. So try to keep your arms straight. Keep your eyes on the horizon, so look forward. Lift, push through the hips. Keep breathing. If you're tired, you're starting to lose posture, I want you to rest, take a short break, and then catch up later. Still counting? I think that's a seven. You can already feel your triceps working. Last one. Ooh. Give your arms a shake. Great work, guys. So I'm 85%. I was 91 going down, need to stand up and keep on moving. Ooh, how are you feeling? Feeling good? Great, now we're going to do side plank. You can do it on the floor or you can do it elevated. What's the difference? On the floor, you feel more your body weight, so it's harder. If you elevate your arms, it's gonna get easier. Just bear in mind, we need a solid and a straight body to work those deep muscles that protect your spine and your pelvis. You ready? Let's check out the heart rate. I'm on 80%. Let's go. So I'm gonna do the elevated one now. Bring your hands under your shoulders. We're gonna alternate. Bring your feet together. Turn into one side, take one arm straight up wrist right under the shoulder, squeeze under the armpit and keep your chin lifted. That's a one. I'm gonna do 10 on each side, but it's totally up to you guys. Under your armpit, 
that's going to strengthen your shoulders. You can step forward, rise and shine. Ooh. We still have around one minute before we stretch. So I'm gonna add one more exercise. Take a seat. So we're gonna do two seated exercise and one in a plank position. You ready? So, I want you to support yourself. Bring your hands behind you. Doesn't matter how you turn your wrist, as long as you feel comfortable. From here, I want you to lift both legs up. You can grab the box and really relax your shoulders. Lower your feet down, keeping your back straight and do knee, knee tucks by bringing the knees to the chest and then lower. So let's do 15 of this while relaxing your upper body. Keep breathing. We've got five more. Come on guys, you can do it. If that was intense, you can alternate right and left. Look at this, for next time. And gradually you progress with this exercise until you are able to lift both legs. Great work. I think it's time to stretch. What do you think? Let's stand up. So we're gonna start with the lower body, stretching the hips first, because these muscles we use the most while walking, sitting, standing, and we've used them a lot during our workout session. So come into a kneeling position. If you look here, bring that front knee right on top of your ankle, back knee right under the hip. I want you to tuck your hip under, push those hips forward. So the right leg is back, take your right arm up, rotate gently to the right side, and now tilt over to the left side. You're gonna feel that nice stretch. Now I want you to take four deep breaths. Remember to keep pushing your hips forward. One more time. Well done. From that position, I want you to extend your front leg, lift the toes up. Don't worry about reaching. I want you to push your hips back, place your hands on your thigh or on the floor if you can reach. Try not to twist and rotate to grab those toes. Just keep your back straight, push that tailbone back to stretch the hamstring muscle. So we need to pull through both extremities to lengthen it. One more breath. Great, well done. Now let's change leg. Bring the other leg forward. Remember sit up first, tuck your hip under, push, take your arm up, rotate and now reach over. Take four deep breaths. So as you reach and tilt, I want you to push your hip bone. Two more breaths. One more. Well done. Now, let's stretch the glutes from a seated position. I'm showing you very basic exercises that you can do anywhere. So from a seated position, just make sure you sit up tall, cross your legs, and with one hand, I want you to assist yourself, push the thigh, not the knee, as you bring your chest forward. And now breathe. Don't compromise. If you can't keep your back straight, just sit up tall as you push. Let's change. So you can stay here, flex your foot, push that thigh down, sit up tall, breathe. One more breath. Relax. Now, let's stretch the upper body. Chest and back. Interlace the fingers. So we're gonna stretch the front of the shoulders first. Push your knuckles down. Open your chest as you reach. And now breathe. For four. Two more breaths. Good. Now we're gonna stretch the upper body. Interlace the fingers, 
reach, tuck your chin in and try to round your upper body. You're gonna feel that nice stretch in your mid-back. Well done. Last one is for your neck. Wrap your arm around your back. Tilt your head to the side. Relax. Don't let this one rise. Push it down. Change side. Well done, you guys. Give yourself a big clap. Hope to see you soon. And good luck with your challenge.